So we are here, Mixtape Madness, uh, talking about mental health for Mental Health Week. We have our panel discussion going on right here. We're going to be talking about how social media has an effect, or does it have an effect, on mental health with young people, old people, and everything in between. So we have our panel right here. Just tell them your name. Emmanuel Speaks. Bam. That's Lippy. Now my name is Jordan Wilkes. Uh, let's, let's jump straight in. Let's jump straight in. So this is this is the thing. For I'm excited about talking about this because when I look to my to my mates that are sitting on the panel right here, um, you guys are. Can I use the word influence? You like, do you like the word influences? I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> for you. That's the point. Yeah. Influence the world, yeah. Yeah, you like the There you go. Know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I use that word. So you guys are influencers and people will immediately recognize your faces when they when they, they see this. So for me, I wanted to talk about social media and how it affects or, or what your thoughts are on how it affects mental health because you are right there in the thick of it. And I guess I am too as someone that uses Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, or all of them once there. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited to jump into this one and, and get this going. So here we go. Um, I want to know, and this is it's a first one, it's a broad question. I'm going to open this up to, to all of you and we'll see where it goes. What role do you think social media plays or has played in just mental health and, and the whole discussion about mental health? Major role. Let's I go. think, in, on a, starting off positively, it's made it easy for people to talk about because especially like on Twitter yeah. you've got loads of people that you don't know they don't know you True. kind of thing and yeah it's just just the fact that people don't know who you are it's easy to kind of discuss your feelings and kind of put it out there you can kind of go away and come back and there'll be loads of people responding to saying oh get oh, get well soon or whatever so I, I see that a lot that's very good but one thing I'll say I, I I kind of think it's kind of glamorized mental health in a way kind of thing because it's kind of like someone will say they've got depression and like everyone's got depression and it's just like everyone's just talking about depression and it's like ah cool so if all you people are depressed mm-hmm. let's let's do something about it don't just be the people that are depressed mm-hmm. and it's kind of like i'm not even I'm, I feel like just a name man up, but I'm not even gonna <laughs> it. A certain man will see like girls talking about depression and that, then they'll be like, yeah, I feel it. Like, you, you know what I mean? So people yeah, will true. say that they are feeling a certain way just to relate to someone. And that, yeah. that's social media itself. And everyone's just trying to relate to everyone and yeah. but stand out at the same time. And it's, and it's yeah, I kind of think when it comes to mental health, it's been glamorized. It's, it's made it kind of fashionable to be someone that used to be depressed, that can come online and speak about how they used to be depressed. And as someone that I believe I used to be depressed, I'll be honest, that kind of pisses me off. That kind of just thinks, you know, I'm just talking about this thing like, it's a common cold kind of thing like that. It tore me to pieces kind of thing. And obviously I know it's different for everyone, but for me to just kind of, for something, for me personally, I was so hard to talk about, to just see everyone just speaking about it willy-nilly. Kind of made me feel a bit weird, kind of thing. I kind of thought, rah, so what I was going through wasn't like a madness. Everyone goes through it, according to Twitter. So it's just, yeah. Do you know what? I don't think the problem necessarily is the fact that people are talking about it. I think it's good that people are talking about it. And I completely hear your point in terms of like, it's been trivialized to a point where like, what does it mean? What, where's your conversation mm. going? I think that's where the problem is. Yeah. Like, it's very surface, deep conversation. Yes. It's very level one conversation. It's like, all right, cool, you're having this conversation every day. You're talking about the same things. You're going in circles. But what kind of, how are you then applying the knowledge that you're gaining from speaking to each other to helping each other? Do you know what I mean? And, and, and one, one, one kind of, um, in one hand, I'd say like social media has been, it, it's been like an amazing platform in terms of, in terms of, I've seen, um, certain organisations grow from slow social media, people kind of come together to create certain initiatives and, and, and all these sorts of things, but then at the same time there's people who are literally using it as like you said, like as, as, as almost like a tool to slide in the DMs, yeah. or as a tool so, but then you're always going to get that with social media you're yeah. always going it's, it's, to, all it is is a platform it, it's literally how you use it I know people that use social media to get away from their demons, I know people that 
find their demons on social media by preening up what everyone else is doing. Do you know what I mean? It literally comes down to how you're using it. At the end of the day, social media is literally just a platform. It doesn't, obviously, it, depending on how you use it, it's a catalyst for either A or B. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, man, I feel like the discussion more needs to be on how best to navigate yourself around social media because, like I said, all it is is a platform. It's a, it's, a, it's a place to go. Do you know what I mean? It's a place to go. So, um, yeah, man, it just puts everything on on kind of in in in, in everyone's in everyone's kind of peripheral. And and for me, I feel like as great as it, as it is, we've touched on certain things as well. Where there's certain avenues where it's perhaps not so great as well. But um, I wouldn't necessarily blame that on social media as an entity. It's more about how people use it. I'd sure. say, yeah. I think when well, social media is out there and it's become or well, it started off as an outlet and literally what well, I always said to people about Twitter that people start saying, oh yeah, you use on Twitter, da, 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 da. I'm like, Twitter literally is what you make. Because if you just add it, people that follow you, it's either people that relate to stuff that you, that you talk about or people that don't relate to stuff that you but I want to learn more or they just regard the can be true and just whatever the, the others that they just follow you for anything really. But um that with the, 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 sorry, with the discussions on Twitter at the moment, we meant all like awareness and all that wasn't happening years ago. Yeah, the man was on Twitter, but you said something about mental health, but you're getting caught, bro. Yeah. You're getting caught. <laughs> like you said something about mental health. Like what? You did for what? Us? Shut up, man. You're getting slapped with a meme or something. Like, but at the moment, it's like, because everyone that's been on Twitter from like way back then, they've all grown up. So all of this basically tip Twitter right now is for the adults. Yeah. So that's like my well, my social followers for the adults, that people that I've seen grow up on Twitter, like not just on Twitter, but just as in life as people in general. And then but because I still feel like Twitter is still childish in where it is, because it's a social media platform, you just go there to bust a quick joke, so see what's popping and, and, and what's popping on social media at the moment. Yeah. People are still kind of forgetting that. There's a lot of young people that follow you as well, you know. So the, the person you was like young, just tweeting nonsense, da, 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 all that's happening, you're not seeing it. Yeah. So like your discussions with about mental health, mental health, they're actually seeing it because you you're one of the, you could be one of the first waves of people being on tour. We'll forget that there's a second wave below you. Mm-hmm. So all these things about mental health awareness and um, like just having it out there on the platform in general, like and for the young people to just see in general, like it's big. Mm. Like, yeah. I know that people clocked it's actually yeah, quite big. Like, for it's massive, like, it's massive because it won't happen on MySpace, it won't happen on mm. Bebo, or yeah, it's true. Like, it won't happen on Twitter, no. Like, yeah, that's Twitter's like, the ones where you be real, like, like you show it's like information's being passed around and that. Uh, People are supporting each other. You're right. Two is good, man. Two is good. Two is good. But one thing I'll say, another angle about social media, yeah, is certain people that I'll go straight into it, yeah. This this Kanye West guy, like you 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 see him what's going on. Okay, here we go. Yeah, and he's chatting shit. Mm -hmm. He is. (laughs) But because loads of people are giving him the thumbs up on social media, he really believes yeah. he's doing the right thing. And I kind of think, not so much with, it's, it's different to Kanye West, but I think there are people on social media, and I, I can even admit that I, I, I've been like this a little bit, where in the real world, it's stressful, it's shit, work is shit, family life and everything, too much. Then you jump on this app and everybody loves you. You're the guy. Like, that's that's what it was, so it's like, like that. When I first bust on Twitter, I was going through teams. But I just knew, regardless of what was going on, I could just back up my phone out of the pocket. The bear, gyal, hella man, just licking my ass. You get, you know, you know, you get me? So it's like, it's good, but it can make you ignore what's really going on. Because I'll tell you straight, at a point, I wake up, where's my phone, check my, check my Twitter. Go do a shit, brush my teeth, and that come back. Oh shit, Twitter. You get me? Every time going lunch break, pretending to go piss so I can check Twitter. And it's like, it's 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 not good, man. It's, it's obviously it's fun and that, but kind of when, like for instance, I remember when my Twitter got suspended. It felt like someone dropped off my phone. It felt like, where, what am I gonna do about my beloved Twitter? You get me? Then I made a new Twitter and I wasn't that popular. I was like, what the fuck, that old man. So again, it, it has a it has an effect on your head. Well, that's that's a, that's a very interesting point 
because you're coming from you're not coming from the other side so for me as someone that's never really had that following I've had mm. people that I went to school with that follow me and that, that's, that's mm. sort of it I see it where I'm watching the discussions that, pe- that people are having and, and that takes place on Twitter I'm, I'm watching people talk about mental health I'm watching influencers um, give their two cents and then you see the discussion that happen underneath and it's it's interesting to see and watch, but I, I wonder, and this is a, a question to, to all three of you guys, and again, you're just touching it. What is it like from your perspective? What does what does having the thousands of followers feel like for you? What does that do for, you, for yourself up there? Is it is it one of those things where it's all you can think about? Is it one of those things where it humbles you? Is it something where, when it, when, when you start to see the numbers increase, what did it? What did it do for you? Oh, 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 <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell I remember me. that. You see me when I come on Twitter. I remember I done that Maya Tram experience thing. So I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even have Twitter. So because of that, people told me make Twitter page. Mm-hmm. You will pass off this thing. Yeah. So within not bragging or anything, guys. <laughs> within <laughs> that, my first week or two of the Twitter, I had like. 5k followers, I didn't even know how to use the team. Yeah. And I'll be honest, I felt like the guy. The guy. I was unemployed. I had bare dead at the team. <laughs> <laughs> going to my class. high. Club, sky high. Gyan don't know that I ain't got a car. <laughs> all kind of videos, got all kind of likes and retweet and filters on the selfie. You listen, this team can grab you by the bars, man, and it don't. No one wants to admit that. Everybody just wants to be cool. Yeah, I'm there with my 17k. 17k follow. You're in the shower feeling like the man. You know what the thing is? Yeah, 17k is never 17k because there's at least another 17k that know who you are, yeah, but they're not even following you. There you go. It's mad because to me, like I look at it as because um, I'm like an artist or whatever. So I look at it as this is my audience. Do you know what I mean? This is my audience, so I, I've, got, I've got a following of like, what, 4 or 5k, cool. This is, these are the people who are who are going to see what I put out, do you know what I mean? Who are going to read my thoughts on a daily basis, and I know there's an extra, I don't know, 20% of that on top, who are the residuals, depending on how well a certain tweet does, engagement-wise, and etc. Obviously, these, these are things that I've started thinking about more recently, but when I was younger, it was just like, just tweet to tweet, and it was like, yo, yeah, do you know what I mean? All of that was, I was, I was in literally in the same boat as, as, as you were, like, yo, like, I'm the man, like, yo, every man could just, yeah, like, yo, like, how am I gonna make him laugh today? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 do you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah, what I think, do you know what I mean? But um, I feel like growing up, it's then, for me, it's, it's, I've seen my followers, less as followers, and more like people. It's like, this yeah. is people, do you know what I mean? This is, like, there's companies that will pay racks to have access to 5,000 people, do you know what I mean? Just yeah. to send stuff to you, just to advertise to you, yeah. do you know what I mean? So, Looking at it now, it's a thing where I've got access to X amount of people. I've got content that I want to show or, or, or kind of um, bring it back to the discussion here. Yeah, I've got a certain, I've got a certain uh, agenda that I want to discuss. Because sometimes I like to do that. Sometimes I have questions in my mind and I don't have answers or I want to know what other people think. So I'll just like tweet it and then I'll get someone's opinion and I'll retweet it and then I'll spark someone else to like question it and then I'll get both sides of the now I'm just in the middle playing devil's advocate. I think that's the, what I love most about having a fair few followers because you can initiate certain conversation. Yeah. You can you can start a conversation. If someone with like ten followers tweets out, I'm like, mm, yeah, that's yeah. gonna fall into the shadows. But people that like, they do have kind of the so the social influence, they can start these conversations. They can then be in the middle pulling the strings and saying, alright, cool. We're gonna get this side of the argument. We're gonna get this side of the argument. We're just gonna like talk about it. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like there's a responsibility there that, um, for some of us that used to it like that anyway. Do you know what I mean? To, to make sure that these arguments are handled and navigated well enough so that both sides of the argument are, are seen and heard and that everyone gets seen and heard. And I feel like that's one for time that I really do enjoy about having enough followers to be able to do things like that. You literally just say, I will have this niggling question in my head. And I just want to, I just want to talk about it. Yeah. Wait, first of all, can I just say thank you to Mr. Madness and Bay for the mental health, like, mental health awareness, and large up all the people right now that are all trying to stick together and make mental health, mental health awareness in the black community, not just black men but black women as well, and become to all support each other in the prelongs and into the future. 
um, with me personally, I feel it's through like interactions that this being invited to even talk about mental health, mental health and awareness is such a big step. Um, I've never been really able to talk to a lot of people about it. It's only just through passing and through the odd occasion I've been started to have these conversations, but I feel like it's become more constant and this journey will just not just be uh, end on a full stop. I feel this will be a continuation journey and a lot of milestones will be made. Very engaging, very interesting, um, very fruitful conversation we had today. On my side anyway, um, I'm guessing it's the same from Vance, same from Lippy, same from Jordan, and I hope it's the same from you back home as well. Um, we touched on social media, and, and I just really want to re reiterate that it's really just about how you use it. I feel like social media is so progressive, and it's, it's built platforms for us to speak on these things, speak on our mental health, mental illnesses, get the awareness out there. And it's led to things like this happening from Mixtape Madness, which I think is sick. And you know what, let's just keep the conversation going and do great, man, no great suffering from mental health you're not alone and more importantly you are not weak um, it can affect anyone of any age any level of wealth any sexuality it can affect you and it's it's dangerous man so if you are suffering do let someone know me personally talking about on social media helped me a lot um helped me realize that i wasn't weak helped me realize that i was not alone um i got support from people that I didn't know, which was which was a lot to me, because um, for me, I couldn't really speak to the people that I knew. We always associated mental health with weakness and kind of being a little bit of a pussy, but that's not the case.